Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Settle in because it's one of our favorite segments, the Master Tech Tech Tip. And you know what? If you have a tech tip you want to share, just go to our social media and post it there with that hashtag MTTT. We'll take a look at your tech tip as well. This one's all about new technology, man. We love new technology here at Tech Garage. And I want to start out with this cool engine that has a lot of new technology. And let's start with direct injection. A lot of this stuff's been around a while, but it's pretty cool how it works. Direct injection is right here. There's a pump right here that actually drives in an actual elliptical right here that's going to pump it. And you can follow it down. You can see the steel fuel lines going down here. Now diesel's done that for years, but gasoline engines are starting to do it. Also direct injection right down into the cylinder, man. Perfect atomization, super high pressures. Tech tip, don't mess with that system until you either follow the manufacturer's specification or you wait a given time to where it actually starts to depressurize. But that could be very dangerous. You're talking about a laser cutter there with liquid that's gasoline. So don't mess with that unless you're looking at the service manual. Another one right here, this is pretty cool. Variable valve timing. What's variable valve timing? Well, we've seen it before on Tech Garage, but it's pretty cool. Watch this. So you got a camshaft in here with this phaser. And what happens is oil injects in this phaser and it actually moves the camshaft to the right or to the left. Why would I want to move the camshaft? Well, I can get that optimal timing all the time as I'm going down the road. And I can show it to you on this motor right here. If I pop this cover off, you can see the actual phaser right here. And what happens is oil injects into this through the center cover and it moves it. Another tech tip for you. I said oil injects into it. So I'm going to pull this out here. And if you look real closely right here, you can actually see these tight screens right here, tiny little screens that has to filter the oil because it's not going to move unless the oil is clean and you have the correct oil. So it's important to make sure you have oil changes with all this new technology. And just as important is make sure you use the right oil. A lot of cars today are calling for this Zero W20. I know it sounds weird, but Zero W20 is an oil that's basically formulated for a lot of this new technology, so this stuff can work. Now we'll take it one step further. Talk about new technology. This is phenomenal. You saw the actual variable valve timing. We can move the camshaft. Well, this motor can vary the lift as well. How does it do that? Well, it's got a variable lift motor right here. And our chief tech, Josh, he was kind enough to wire it up right here so we can run it. You can see it in action. So here's what's going on. Watch these camshafts right here. And then this fulcrum. When I push this button, this fulcrum is going to move. So check this out. And what's happening when it does that, you're actually varying the lift. The valve's opening further. Now, why do you want to do that? Well, an engine kind of acts like a human. If you're running real fast, <sighs> so it's actually gasping for air. The valve's going to open further and allow more air fuel charge in it, bigger bang. Now, we don't need to do that at an idle, so we can have the valve not open so far. And then guess what? You don't get as much charge in there, but it runs optimal, either at low speeds or high speeds. So not only did we take VVT, variable valve, valve timing, we move the camshaft, we take VVL, variable valve lift, and we change the lift of the camshaft, and man, we got the performance second to none. That's new technologies. Oil's critical, and also changing the oil's critical. Now, on our continuous variable transmission, this is cool. They've been using these for years, but here at Tech Garage, we've been seeing a lot of them not doing very well. And the reason is the wrong fluid. We can't stress this enough. Another tech tip for you. Continuous variable transmission fluid. Either look on Rock Auto or go to your manufacturer's specification. You cannot just throw any fluid in these things. It has to be the proper fluid. Once you get that in there, you're going to be good. I remember the old days we would just put thicker oil in or we would put transmission fluid in the power steering pumps. You can't do that anymore. This new technology, man, it takes the optimal fluid because it's the optimal technology. Then there's the electric vehicle. Man, we went all the way from new technology to electric. Speaking of electric, boy, Dave's electrifying and so is Tom. Let's check in with them. 